This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. This particular video introduces the web-based file hosting service called Dropbox. Dropbox is a web-based file hosting service that enables you to access your files from any computer with an internet connection and easily share files with others in your team, even if they are on the other side of the world. The first thing you need to do to start using Dropbox is to create an account for yourself. Go to www.dropbox.com, click on sign in and then click create an account. Enter your first name, your last name, your email address and a password. Make sure you remember your password. Then click create an account. Once you have created an account, you can sign in using your email address and your password. Once you have signed in, you can manage your files and folders from your internet browser. As shown here, you'll see a list of the files and folders currently in your Dropbox. This is, includes folders that you have created yourself and folders that others have shared with you. There are icons here for uploading, uh, uh, for creating new folders, for sharing folders, and even for showing deleted files. Dropbox keeps track of changes for the last 30 days, so you can restore older versions of files or even deleted files from within the last 30 days. There are two ways to upload files. The first is to click on the Upload button click on Choose Files, then select one or more of the files to upload. Click Save and those files will be added to the current folder. You can move them between folders in the same way as you would move files in Windows just by dragging and dropping. The second method is just to drag and drop from Windows Explorer effectively treating your Dropbox folder as another folder on your hard drive. Remember to hold down the control key if you want to copy rather than move the files. To share a folder, click the share a folder icon which will give you the choice of creating and sharing a new folder or sharing an existing folder. After we click next, we enter the email addresses of the people that we want to share with. There's also space for an optional invitation message. Finally click on share a folder. Each person will receive an invitation email with a link that they follow. Choose the sharing link in the menu on the left hand side allows you to see who is sharing each folder. If you click on options to the right of the folder name you can invite others to join the folder and also view the current list of members. The list will show who the current owner of the folder is and will show when each member accepted the share and whether there are invitees who haven't yet responded. You can also choose to leave the folder which means it will no longer be shared to you. If you are the owner of a folder you can remove people from the list or you can pass ownership on to somebody else. You can also choose to unshare the folder. When you share a folder, everyone you share has full access, i.e. they can read the files, modify them and even delete them. Dropbox keeps a track of events in your shared folders, such as who edited, added or deleted which file in which folder and when. If you want to be able to share folders with others without them being able to make changes, you can create links. In your Dropbox list, items that are marked with a chain link symbol, as shown here, have links available. You can link a folder simply by clicking Get Link. And this provides a direct link to the folder that you can copy and paste into a document or an email. Once you have created links for files, 
they will appear in the links list and you could right click and copy the link location or send the link directly to an individual through an email. Others can then uh, click to follow this link and they can download the linked files to their own computer or if they are photos they can view them directly online. All the facilities we have looked at so far can be done through the Dropbox website. If you install Dropbox a folder will appear on your computer as shown here, which will automatically sync with the web version of your Dropbox. You can use this folder like any other folder on your computer, the only difference being that this folder will be available to you from wherever you are, provided you have an internet connection. To install Dropbox, click on your account name, followed by Installed, and do the, three, the free download. Save the file to your hard drive and run it from there, follow the, following the instructions as you would for any software installation. A free account offers you up to 2 gigabytes of storage space, but you can gain extra free space by referring your friends, up to a total of 18 gigabytes. If you need a lot more space, you could go for one of the payment schemes. For $10 a month, you could have up to 50 gigabytes and for $20 a month up to 100 gigabytes. There is also a Dropbox for Teams starting at a terabyte and you would need to um, click on learn more to find out further information about Dropbox for Teams. Note that a, a shared folder is included in the quota of everyone who shares it but as we have seen you can leave a folder that's being shared to you if you start running short of space. You can check your space by clicking on your name and as you see here I've used up just one gigabyte out of two and a half gigabytes. So to summarise, Dropbox is a, an easy to use and very popular file hosting service that gives you access to your files through the web. It enables easy sharing of files, both as full access shares or read-only links.